Detailers can use Revit to create a coordinated and constructible model that contains LOD 400 content from the Autodesk Fabrication products. To get started, open the MEP Fabrication Parts Browser. Select a service and a group to view the available content. To access the content, a fabrication configuration must be installed and fabrication services must be loaded into the model. Refer to the Revit help for more information on specifying fabrication content. To place fabrication parts, select a part and move to the drawing area to place it. Begin by placing a tap. To position the tap, press the spacebar to rotate it around the duct. Press Shift and the spacebar to rotate it around its connector. Next, place a straight. Notice that when you place a part, it is automatically sized to match the connecting part. Enable Smart Snapping to increase the snap target on connectors to make it easier to connect parts. A fabrication model may contain design intent Revit elements, as well as detailed level fabrication parts. To connect a Revit family element, such as the fan coil unit shown here, directly to a duct fabrication part, simply drag it into place. Next, place a transition. To modify the dimensions for the transition, click Edit Part. As you make changes, the preview pane updates. Click OK to save the changes in the model. Place two straights, an elbow, and another straight. To insert a T on the duct run, select the desired T and click Insert Part. To toggle the connector end for the T, press the up arrow key. Next, add a pipe run from the fan coil unit. To switch the service from duct work to piping, select an existing pipe and click Show Service. Use the Product Entry field to view the available pipe sizes. The Product Entry list is a catalog of available sizes for purchased parts, such as certain duct fittings and most piping parts. Specify the length for the pipe and place it on the equipment. Select the short radius elbow. The arrow indicates that different parts are available depending on the size. A tooltip displays the size range based on the condition for the part. In this example, one material is used for elbows greater than 2 inches and a different material is used for elbows less than or equal to 2 inches. Since the pipe is set to 1.5 inches, the copper elbow is automatically placed. If desired, you can override the part by clicking the arrow and selecting a part from the list. Press the spacebar to rotate the elbow in 45 degree increments. Place another straight and another short radius elbow. Select the elbow and use the rotate controls in the drawing area to customize the angle of rotation for 30 degree increments. Next, place a longer horizontal pipe. To place hangers on piping runs, select the hangers group and select a hanger. Position the cursor along the edge or center line of a straight segment. To place hangers on ductwork, Use the Show Service button to change the service and group, and then select a hanger. By default, hangers are attached to the closest structure element. Structure categories include floor, roof, structure framing such as beam or truss, stairs, and slabs. If no structure element is available, Revit uses the default rod length as set in the ITM file definition. When you use Revit to create a fabrication model, 
you can achieve a higher level of development.